Hey everyone, and welcome to my week 19 update. I am 19 weeks and three days pregnant with baby number two. Sorry that it's a late update. This has been an absolutely crazy week, um, and not necessarily in a good way. Um, so the day before, or the day, whatever, it was like at midnight, so it doesn't matter. The day I was rolling over to the 19th week, um, I was actually filming a day in the life, so I will eventually finish it and post it. Um, it was so scary. I was putting Emmett to bed. He went to bed kind of early because he refused to take a nap. And I was just, I was like, did I pull something in my back? What's going on? So then I tried taking a warm bath. I tried, um, laying on a heating pad, Tylenol. I mean, I tried everything. And the pain got so bad that I was in tears. And I didn't even, I wasn't even in tears during labor. So I just knew that there was something not right. My back hurt so bad. I couldn't even walk or move. It just was so, so awful. And then I started having cramps really, really bad. And I was like, this is not happening. <laughs> it is just not. I made myself drink a bunch of water and just try to relax, and it just kept getting worse. So I talked to my husband, who of course was at work, and um, he was like, look, I've never heard you like this. You sound terrible. You know, I'm really worried. Why don't you just, you know, better safe than sorry, just go ahead and head into the emergency room. And I was like, you know, I know you're right, but I'm going to be really embarrassed if this is nothing. So, thinking that it was my kidneys, because that's exactly what it sounded like. I had all the signs and symptoms, the CVA tenderness, the flank pain, everything. So, I was like, okay, well, better just to get it checked out, especially since I was still having cramps and just was getting really worried. And I had over, I, I kind of overdid that day. So, I don't know. I was just so, you know how it is. You're just paranoid. So, I go in, and then I got even more nervous because... She took one look at me and was like, you're coming right back. And so there was no wait time, which was, I mean, not that I'm complaining because who wants to wait in the emergency room? And they checked me out and they were like, okay, we think it's your kidneys. We're going to, you know, do an abdominal ultrasound and ultrasound of your kidneys and then check on the baby. And um, so they, you know, they took blood, urine, all that good stuff and did the ultrasound. And then it was just a waiting game. And turns out baby was fine. As soon as, um, they gave me some more pain medicine. I didn't want them to, but they were like, look, you're crying. Um, let us help you. This is safe. It's okay. And I was like, okay. My husband's like, stop being stubborn. Let them help you. And you know, nurses are the, nurses are, are the worst patients. I'm sorry, but they are. <laughs> and I was just being so stubborn. And he's like, just stop. Let it go. And I was like, okay, I know you're right. Um, my, at this point, my husband had um, met me at the emergency room. And so, as when I finally relaxed, the baby started moving a bunch, and so I was like, okay, um, at least he's okay. You know, maybe I can relax. So, they did the ultrasound, um, and the second she started looking at him, she goes, um, are you sure you're only 19 weeks? And I said, well, I think I'm about six days ahead of that, you know, just judging by um, my last menstrual period and all that stuff. And she goes, yeah, I think you're right. She goes, you look exactly 19 weeks and six days. And I was like, that's what I think, but you know, I'm not worried about it. He'll come when he wants to anyway. She goes, you're right. You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so baby was fine. He was measuring right where I think I should be. Cause I think my due date should be April 2nd. Um, but you know, whatever, I'm not going to deal with that right now. Another day. So then I, I was just waiting, you know, because she technically can't say anything. She has to wait for the doctor to read the ultrasound. And my kidneys were fine. And he was like, look, your kidneys are fine. I think you sprained your back. And maybe you tore a ligament or something. And I was like, are you? I was like, I don't know whether to be relieved or pissed off because this hurts so bad. I was like, I've never felt pain like this. He goes, well, that can really hurt. He goes, it's, he goes, you know, it's not inconceivable for you to be in pain like this for tearing something or spraining something in your back. And I was like, this is just ridiculous. I can't even fathom that there's not something wrong. Even though I was glad that there wasn't, I was just like, are you kidding me? So they gave me some more medicine and sent me home. 
and it was so, it was awful. All night long, I just could not sleep. Um, ugh, it was absolute pain. It was just the worst night. I was awful, awful, awful. Could not move. Anytime I finally doze off, I turn in my sleep, wake up in pain. I, my back was just, I was having the most awful spasms. It was just absolutely horrible. And, um, but then, you know, I guess the power of being 24 <laughs> and resting my back, um, I rested all the next day, just basically got up to pee. And then by the time the next day rolled around, I could, you know, I was like at 80%. I could, I still can't pick up Emmett cause he's huge, but I can do everything else. So, you know, everything's a lot better. Thankfully everything was good. <laughs> Um, but it was, ex it was very, very scary. And, you know, just worrying about the baby like that was just the worst experience ever. Um, thankfully everything was okay. Um, about the pregnancy, my back hurts, obviously. Um, I've been complaining about my back hurting for a while. So I guess I just really did a number on myself. Uh, still craving cereal. What have I been eating? What cereal is that? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I've never eaten Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't know what it is, but sugary cereals, um, lemonade, oh my gosh, Chick-fil-A's lemonade and like raspberry lemonade, um, just any, any type of lemonade and water. That's basically all I've been wanting. And, um, that's pretty much it for cravings. Um, the nausea is on and off, but the vomiting and all that is, I think I maybe vomited once all week and I kind of did it to myself. I, drank water too fast and coughed and then the coughing made me puke so it wasn't even like you know it's so it's gotten so much better um still only gained two pounds I haven't gained anything else and that's it thankfully the baby's healthy I'm sorry that I've not posted the name video but it was a little bit of a scary incident um I will post that today I promise and everything's good I'm good baby's good <sighs> It was just scary. <laughs> Have you guys ever had this happen to you? Um, my mother-in-law said that she knew someone that this happened to, but I had never heard of it. So I was just so scared. Um, but yeah, so I <laughs> hopefully you guys are all having a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye.